Hi everyone! Thank you for joining me for these Reaxis sessions today. This short video will give you a brief introductory outlook of Reaxis. Reaxis offers a highly intuitive interface and robust database to help leading chemists retrieve relevant chemical literature, pattern information, valid compound properties, and experimental procedures in half the time. Designed to support the full range of chemistry research, Reaxis puts every scientist, from novice to expert, on the shortest path to answers. With powerful search options and instant access to expertly curated chemical data, Reaxis helps scientists, chemists, researchers through the various ways. Discover chemical structures, properties, and reactions. Find relevant chemistry, literature, and patterns with ease. Control queries with streamlined, intuitive interfaces. Assess compounds, synthesis, and purchase options. Share research data with it. And outside an organization or institutions, copy in-house and publish experimental data. Today, I will be using Tetrakis triphenylphosphine palladium to illustrate some key features of Reaxis. For example, if we want to find out more about this substance, Reaxis can provide the answers quickly. This is how you go about doing it. From the Reaxis home website, under Substances, Names, Formula, Category, we have five different methods to identify the compound. You may use any of the tools available. In this case, I will be using the CAS registry number to identify my compound. I will key in the number and then click Search Substance. You are able to filter your search further accordingly until you retrieve your final compound. We can start looking information about this compound by clicking Show Details and they will show you the available data from the database. One useful information you can get from this is that Reaxis provides their various spectroscopy data too. Thus, you may use this to compare with your experimental spectra. Next. I can even find ways to synthesize my compound. Go to the Synthesis option and click Auto Plan. Adjust your settings accordingly and they will auto plan for you. Reaxis will provide you various synthesis methods and you may explore and choose any synthesis method, up to your own description. They can even show you the bird eyes view of the reactions on the synthesis tree diagram. I can find ways to further synthesize this compound. Just do the same like what you did before and they will auto plan for you. Eventually, you will get a tree diagram. How simple is that? Once you are satisfied with your synthesis tree diagram, you may export it for your assignments. You may also find this literature paper and read further about the synthesis reaction. Here you have the synthesis equation, and on your right, you will see the papers produced by various universities and industries. Pick any, up to your own description. Now try the Reaxis tree. Click on the icon. The tree contains index terms. Type hydrogenation into the search bar. A drop down menu is displayed showing you the options to choose from. Click the search button to expand the tree. The tree then expands and lets you choose the most appropriate query. This is useful when you are not sure about how to formulate a query in the literature form or in Ask Reaxis. It lets you view terms you may not have even thought of. You can uncheck the ones that you don't want. Do explore other options to retrieve information of any reactions and compounds. There are many ways to ask your questions. 
If they do not appear in the search results, most likely your compound that you are searching for doesn't exist. Have fun, and thanks for watching.